Hi, yo then guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be all around the PewDiePie vs. T-Series ongoing battle. He, it's happened. It has actually happened, which I said was going to happen in the YouTube news video I did. So yes, T-Series have finally, finally overtaken PewDiePie, but it hasn't been all that. He, they haven't just overtaken him and stayed that way. It's been back and forth and back and forth. T-Series overtook for about maybe four or five hours, six hours. PewDiePie came back, got the 20,000 subscriber difference, then went back to see T-Series. And now it's going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And at the current time of recording this, if I go to Ak Shat Mittau and it loads, and I go PewDiePie versus T-Series, T-Series are currently in front by 9,000 subscribers. However, if you go over to Social Blade, the ones that are live streaming this whole catast catastrophe, it's not really a catastrophe, is it? Um, it does indeed say it's now disappeared. Why has it disappeared? They've gotten rid of it. One minute, I will find this. Either way, Social Blade put up a little post, which I can confirm by Felix's tweet on the website Twitter, that it is indeed a race to 100 million. Okay, I've just seen it. He's unfollowed everyone. His new name is Ice number one BTS stan account, and he's only following the BTS account. Fuck my life. Yeah, I, I will indeed screenshot it for you. It's first to 100 mil, right? Mr. Beast came in with, make it interesting. Last day at 100 million needs to delete their channel. Oh, that is that's mad. Okay, so yeah, it's first to 100 million subscribers, and I didn't think I'd be saying this. Um, wow, that is mental. Like, m -m 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 mental. Unfortunately, well, not really unfortunately. Uh, no, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately. Um, because it would just delete the whole, get rid of the whole thing. Um, these guys are meant to hit 100 million before PewDiePie. So by T um so by Social Blades predictions, which are way, way, way off. Um Oh no, they really are way off. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at I thought the views prediction was a subs prediction. Okay, no, they're not that far off. Um they're not off at all, actually. T series are meant to hit a hundred million in May. Um and PewDiePie is meant to hit a hundred million in July. He's meant to hit 99 million in May. So they're meant to have a 1 million subscriber difference from PewDiePie by May, which is two months away. I'm not so sure. I did say it was going to happen. I think most people knew it was going to happen. Um, yeah, I believe now if you go on to um, subscriber alert for PewDiePie... Most of them are gone. Yeah. Because they just realised that it's over. I don't think PewDiePie is going to be that far ahead of T-Series anymore. Um, yeah. Every single time he does, he kind of just goes straight back down and goes under them again. So, yeah. I think it's kind of over for PewDiePie. And I do think T-Series are going to hit 100 million first. Which sucks. I know that I was the first one to be like, oh, I, I'm kind of getting bored of this now. But the 100 million subscribers thing is going to destroy anything. Whoever hits 100 million first has won the war. So I kind of want him to win the war. He's lost the battle, but he can win the war. He can't win the war. He's lost the war. As much as I love PewDiePie, yeah, I think it's over for him now. Once again, though, it was a good while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. It helps PewDiePie while it lasted a lot, like I did in the other video. If I go over to um, Social Blade and we just have a little look at his, how many subs he was gaining a month before this started, it was around 700,000. Um, 800,000 on the 9th. And then the second it started on the 10th, it went to 2 million in a month. Then 3 million, 3.9 million. Then 6.62 million. Then 4 million. And then 4 million. 
So if I work that out, he's gained 20.8 million subscribers, say 21 million subscribers um, in the last five months. That's helped him out a lot because before he was gaining, what, in, in five months worth, maybe five million? There's still a lot, but yeah, 6.62 million subscribers. And he gained 500 million views in that time. That's ridiculous. That's actually disgusting. But then again, if you look at T-Series, they've always been gaining like that. The last time that they gained under a, a million subscribers in a month was 2017, February. And since the war, they've been gaining 4 million, 4.4 million, 5.6, 5 million, 4.2 million. So since the war, they've gained, one minute, 23.3 million subscribers. But if you look at the views that they're gaining, like the last time that they gained under a billion views was the exact same time that they gained under a million subscribers, February of 2017. And since then, they've been gaining at least 1 billion views every single month. Some have been 3.1 billion views. That is mental. They've gained 2.8 billion views so far this month. They'd made, like Most of the time, they're getting 100 million views a day. That's fucking nuts. £20,000 in a day. Maximum of £300,000 in a day. Minimum of £5 million made a year. Maximum of £87 million made a year. And that's just from YouTube revenue. That's fucking nuts. They gained 456000 a month minimum. That's what most people will gain in 10 years from working their normal job. And that's not even like that. I say most people. That's not really even most people. But anyway, the the battle's over. The war will be over soon. Um, give it two, three months, and the war will be over. And yeah, that's like people will. I, I think people. I was going to say people will stop watching them, but they won't because one billion views. This was way before the battle even began. But there we are then, guys. Um, apologies if this is going to be a little bit of a short video. I just kind of wanted to talk on the topic a little bit. Um, wasn't for views or anything. Um, <laughs> but no, on a real, it's been interesting while it lasted, but I think it's over now. Fair play to PewDiePie for keeping up with it all. Um, most single YouTuber couldn't do it. So yeah, fair fucking play to him. And most people still think that he is the number one subscriber to YouTuber because he is a YouTuber. Not a record label. Thank you.